Horse racing officials are laying out safety and security measures ahead of this weekend's Breeders' Cup Classic at Keeneland. They're stressing the importance of the welfare of the horses and the jockeys competing in this year's World Championships. WKYT Sean Moody is live at Keeneland with details on that. Hey, Sean. Well, good morning, Bill and Barb. Or good afternoon, rather. They're expecting up to 45,000 people up each day here at the Breeders' Cup. And of course, they're focused on making sure those people have a good time. But they also want to make sure that these horses and their riders are all also safe throughout the races. They say even with all the rain that's been happening out here, their track should be good to go. Keeneland Breeders' Cup and equine veterinarians held a panel discussion this morning talking about the track surface, equine security, pre and post race testing, and safety measures. Keeneland Vice, Pre Vice President Vince Gabbard said they test the track throughout the year and just did tests during their fall meet and said that track is ready for racing. You know, it's, it's more consistency. Uh, so these horses are used to training over a consistent surface, and we just want to make sure that that surface, whether you're five links off the rail, or you're on the rail, or if you're on the back stretch or in the home stretch, we want a consistent surface. And as long as you provide that consistency and it's safe, uh, it drains well, then everything else generally falls into line. And of course, it's been raining a lot out here lately, but Gabbard said the track is draining as it should. Live in Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. All right, John, and Keeneland has switched its track to dirt again back in 2014.